Hello everyone, my name is Akash Paul. You are joining us at TY Auto for a very exciting conversation that we are having with Philip, who is the uh, executive creative director for corporate marketing at Lenovo. He handles the global operations and uh, he has kindly given us some of his time to talk about something very interesting, something very exciting. It's a new trophy that has been designed by Lenovo for the uh, Suzuka Grand Prix. And uh, Philip, uh, first of all, thank you for joining us. Thank you for giving us your time. It's and, lovely uh, to be here. Yes, and uh, you know, please first tell us about this trophy, what the concept is behind it, uh, and then we'll dive into some more questions. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the idea behind this trophy, really, the idea was to, to for us to bring uh, find a way to bring technology to bear on the podium experience to really elevate that experience for for the drivers and the fans alike. You know, it was a really nice opportunity, a fantastic opportunity for us to show that. You know, we always strive to find smarter solutions um, through the application of technology, and this was a perfect opportunity for us to do that. They're all all in the service of making sure that that experience for the driver and the fans was brought to life in a, a, a more elevated and, and uh, meaningful way. And so, you know, as, as F1 fans, we know that within the, you know, the trophy experience, there's this moment where tr uh, the driver inevitably kisses the trophy as sort of celebration of that victory. So what we thought is we'd take that moment and the idea was to create the first, the world's first kiss activated trophy. So that what happens when that the, the driver kisses the trophy, the trophy reacts in a way that actually creates a spectacle and creates this sort of lovely moment of celebration with the driver and the fans at that moment. And this was brought, this was uh, created or, or brought to life through um, some technology embedded within the trophy itself. And I like to say this is the first time that the technology has ever been embedded in an F1 trophy, which is part of the excitement of this. Is it is a world's first. Not just the world's first kiss activated trophy, but the first technology embedded trophy ever in F1's history. So anyway, when the driver kisses, the, there's a, a patch on the on the, the trophy that says "Kiss me" and invites the driver to kiss kiss the trophy. When they kiss the trophy, it erupts into sort of this cacophony of colours. But the colours are actually in the colours of the driver's national flag. We have pre-programmed into the trophy um, all of the driver's national flag colours. And at the point we know which driver is winning, we can program that flag, those flag colors into the trophy itself. It's already embedded. We just get it to stick with that one. And then when the driver kisses it, they activate that element of the of the uh, design, the, the colors sort of emit in a, in a lovely light show uh, for the driver and the fans alike to to witness. Um, the, the, the trophy itself, in terms of the design of it, it was inspired by the um, the air intake on the on the top of F1 cars, if you're familiar with that. Um, and then there's this lovely uh, parametric pattern that wraps around the trophy itself in a very dynamic form, which represents subtly the the shape of our logo. I mean, what's important, I think, in these in these trophy designs is to make sure that you know the brand is very much represented. And I think here it's represented in the spirit of how we came to this solution and how we embed in, embedded technology for the first time within a trophy, but also in terms of the design itself, just bring a subtle cue of the brand into that without overpowering it. Because that moment is, it is the brands, it is, but it is really the drivers and it's the fans. That's what we should be celebrating. We should be really respecting that in the design of the trophy. I think it's an important element. Um, that's sort of it. Okay. And and uh, you worked with Pinin Farina to design this trophy. So, uh, you know, overall, in terms of getting the technology and making this trophy, can you give us any idea on, you know, how much time it took to develop this uh, trophy and, you know, to make it ready for the race? It was around, uh, it was around four months um, from start to finish from Pinin Farina's involvement. Obviously, the design process for us is a little longer, but it, um, in terms of the idea generation and working with Pinot Free to bring to life, it's around four months, which is a, a, a tight time frame for something like this. Absolutely, absolutely. And and you mentioned that uh, you know the trophy is programmed to show the colors of the national flag of the winner. Uh, now you said you can sort of 
give it the command to show the right one so does that happen uh, you know wirelessly or you do it right before right after the race ends and before the trophy is handed uh, to the winner it is done it's done wirelessly um there's someone who handles the trophy and they will program that in um as the opportunity yeah, wirelessly after we know which driver is one and then that's uh sets the the trophy up for the moment of kiss okay and usually in races we see like there is a single design for a trophy the biggest one goes to the winner and then the mm-hmm. other two runner ups get the smaller versions so um since this one is designed to not just you know be shaped in a certain way but also to display the colors so uh, will the other two drivers on the podium also get a similar trophy or will there be a difference visually they're very that they're identical um the only difference is they will not um be kiss activated in the same way as the drivers is we wanted to make it a special you know moment for that winning driver obviously it's it's a special moment for everyone on that podium but it, we really wanted to celebrate that win with with the driver themselves but the other trophies are exactly the same from a design perspective they have a little element of color popping through the parametric um, pattern um but it's brought to life in a in a different way not through through lights okay and uh, will we see this unique trophy in other circuits later on as well there is a, a sneak peek there will be a, a version of of this trophy um some point later in the year namely the US when the Austin is our next title race oh, looking forward to that one as well my last question would be um obviously when you partner up with a sport as big as f1 uh and now that you're bringing this very unique trophy um how well do you think it's translating into you know as a brand getting out there in front of people especially with f1 gaining a lot more traction across the globe uh in you know the last 2 3 years so how do you see that impacting your business um in terms of the visibility in terms of uh the awareness for customers and maybe getting in more uh trust from people knowing that lenovo is working with you know the the most high tech and the most fast paced sport in the world it is very much a great stage for the brand i mean to be honest and it's very appropriate stage for the brand given you know our our technology chops and our technology reputation i think you know especially now we're doing something like this where we actually bringing technology into parts of the sport i mean aside from what we're doing from a a partner technologies partners uh ship perspective but actually looking at even when we've got the trophy we're making sure that that is elevated through you know our technology and our um our technology thinking i think is is very much uh, uh, an important part of bringing the brand to life for people and and elevating the brand um the lenovo brand i mean um for everybody through through this uh this partnership we have okay Perfect. Uh, I mean, those are all my questions for now, Philip. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for answering all these questions. And uh, I'm really excited to see the trophy at Suzuka and later on in US as well. Donald, it's it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.